Hey everybody, welcome to the special Saturday morning story time on Halloween. It's so much fun to be together this morning, and I've got my big friend Jack here, Jack O'Lantern. When he was just a little guy, his mom used to call him his little pumpkin. And I see one of our kitty cats has come to join us too, just in time for story time. Well, it's been kind of a different year, and I don't know if you're going trick-or-treating or not, but it was always fun when I was a kid. We might get a granola bar, or an apple, or maybe some M&Ms, or wouldn't it be great if we got cotton candy? That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Well, you know what? I've got a couple stories I want to read to you this morning, and the first one is about fall. In some places, this hasn't felt much like fall because it's snowed already. Lots of snow in some places, but other places, the leaves are still changing colors, and uh, it's not like it is here sometimes, so it's really fun to celebrate fall while it's still here before it becomes winter and we have snow all the time. So this is a little book about fall, a season that God made. Well, it says, it's a colorful fall day. Time to go outside and play. Hey, look, there's a picture of you, Jack, right there on the wall. She's going to go outside and play, and she's got her shoes on and her coat on. I wonder what she's going to go do. It says, helping rake the leaves and jumping to our knees. It's fun to go out and rake leaves and then to jump in the pile. Look at even the doggies out there having fun. Do you have lots of trees and leaves in your yard? that maybe you could go out with mom or dad and rake them into a great big pile and fall into them. That would be fun. Let's see. Picking red apples to eat. That sounds good. And dressing up for trick or treat. Well, that's two of the things that we had. I don't know where my apple went to. There it is. An apple and trick or treating. That's so cool. It's even in this book. Well, let's see. He's dressed up like a cowboy, and he's dressed up like a ghost, and this one's here dressed up like a pirate. I've got my costume on. You can only see part of it. I'll show you the rest before we go today. What are you going to dress up like? Are you going to dress up like a princess or a frog or maybe somebody from a cartoon, or a pumpkin. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Well, let's see. It says, making scarecrows out of straw. Look at there's another pumpkin, and another pumpkin, and there's more pumpkins back there. Can we count them? There's one, two, three, four, five pumpkins. Did you see all those? And they've got a tire swing, and there's squirrels running all around. It says, finding nuts for squirrels we see. Look at that. We've got a bunch of different colored squirrels in our yard. We have black squirrels, and gray squirrels, and red squirrels. Three different colors of squirrels. It says, pretty trees adored by all. That is why we love the fall. And the squirrel's out. And she's got a purple leaf and a red leaf and a yellow leaf. I don't know if you still have colored leaves in your yard. Ours are covered by snow. But we had red ones and orange ones and yellow ones and green ones. And some brown ones, too, that were all dried up. And their color was all gone. Well, that's a pre pretty neat book about the fall, a season that God made. And the trees and the grass and the squirrels and the kids, all those wonderful things that God made for us to enjoy. And the beautiful colors of the leaves and even the white of the snow that we have now. 
is really pretty, but it's melting and it's supposed to get really warm this week. I'm excited about that too. Well, you know what? Excited is a feeling. God gives us all kinds of wonderful feelings. My buddy Jack here is smiling. What does it mean when people smile? It means they're happy. I hope you're smiling this morning and that you're happy. How about if somebody frowns and their smile is turned upside down? What does that mean? Maybe that they're sad? It could be. How about if they're all furrowed up top and their nose and face is all scrunched up? What does that mean? Maybe they're angry? Maybe. Or frustrated? That could be too. Those all kinds of emotions that God gave us. And we have to use them in a way that's good, don't we? Yes, we do. We want to try to be happy as much as we can. And to be kind to others so they're happy too. And if someone's sad... We want to do a good job to be their friend so they can be happy again. And if someone's mad, maybe we need to find out why. Or maybe we need to say we're sorry if we did something that made them mad. There's all kinds of things to learn about emotions. It says, the way I feel. Well, that's silly. She's upside down. But if we turn the book upside down, now she just has a goofy face. But I think we better go back this way. The way I feel. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling great. I'm super excited that it's Halloween. And I'm even more excited I get to spend time with you. Well, let's see. I think this is going to be a silly fun book. And we got lots of pages to get to before we can read one. Oh, look at that. That's quite the costume, isn't it? That's crazy silly. It says, silly is the way I feel when I make a funny face. I wear a goofy poofy hat that takes up lots of space. Look at that goofy poofy hat. And the word here says, silly. That's one of the emotions that God gave us when we're silly. Sometimes people tell jokes when they're silly or they act all goofy uh, and make silly faces. Do you guys ever do that? Can you make a silly face right now? That was really silly. Well, let's see. Uh Uh-oh, it's dark and the word says scared and she's in bed. And there's a thunderstorm outside. I don't like to be scared. Sometimes on Halloween, people wear costumes that are scary. I don't like to be scared. That's why I always try to wear a costume that's fun. Well, let's see. It says, I'm shaking because I'm scared. All alone in the dark at night, the thunder and lightning crash and roar. Hold me close and turn on the light. Do you guys like the light on? When you're scared, boy, that's so dark you can barely see him, can you? Well, I don't like to be scared, and God doesn't want us to be scared either. God says in the Bible, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. That means God's with us all the time, so we don't have to be afraid. Because we know he's with us and watching over us, And that's so super special. Well, hmm, I don't know about this one. Look at that face. She looks kind of grumpy. Hmm, maybe frustrated. What do you think? It says disappointed. Well, let's see. The plans were made so long ago for you to visit me today. But now you can't come after all. I'm disappointed we can't play. Yeah, she's disappointed, all right. And I know how that feels sometimes. And you probably do, too. Times when things don't go the way we wanted them to or expected them to. Maybe a friend was going to come over and play. And then at the last minute, they couldn't. Or maybe we had plans to go somewhere, like to the zoo. And then we couldn't. And sometimes we get disappointed. 
I like this emotion. It says, happy. The smile you see upon my face as the sun shines in the sky shows the world that I feel happy and my mood is soaring high. <gasps> Look it! Isn't that fun? She's in a swing and the sun is shining and there's flowers and she has goofy green shoes on and she looks so very happy. I hope you're that happy today. That's pretty cool. I like happy and God wants us to be happy. Oh, this one doesn't look very good again. It's kind of dark, isn't it? He looks kind of sad. <gasps> That's the word. The word is sad. It says, sometimes I feel so very sad and really don't know why. Instead of playing and having fun, I cry and cry and cry. That is very sad, isn't it? That this little little boy is crying? I don't like it when people are sad. I want them to be happy and smiley. You know what? What can we do if we're sad? Or if someone we know is sad? Well, we could pray for them, couldn't we? We could pray and ask God to make them happy, to help them with whatever is making them sad. That's a really good idea. Or maybe we could talk to them or ask them if they wanted to play so we could do something fun and then maybe they wouldn't be sad all day. I hope that he's not sad all day. I hope maybe the little girl that was happy on the swing will give him a turn on the swing and that will make him happy. Let's see. Uh-oh. This page is bright red and it says angry. Do you ever get angry? It says angry is how I feel right now. I shout a mighty roar. I mostly want to frown and growl and stomp upon the floor. Roar. <coughs> oh. Boy, does he look angry. Look at that angry face. His hair almost looks like it's on fire. Oh no, he must be very angry. That's kind of sad to be angry. We shouldn't have to be angry, should we? But sometimes we are. We just have to make sure <coughs> that if we're angry, we talk to someone about it. We can talk to God. Do you remember how we do that? We pray, we put our hands together, and we close our eyes, and we pray to God and ask him to help us not be angry. Ask him to help us to be happy again. I wonder what made him so angry. I I'm kind of get sad when people are angry. Because I want them to be happy and to have fun. Well, let's see. This one is a good one. Thankful. Thankful is a very good emotion. And a very good thing to be. Because we should thank God every day for all the wonderful things he does for us and all the wonderful things he gives us. And today on Halloween, if you get to dress up, it'd be a great day to thank your mom and dad for the costume you get to dress up in. And if you get to go out trick-or-treating and get some M&Ms or some other kind of candy, you have to make sure that you tell whoever gives you a treat Thank you. You can't just say trick or treat and get candy and walk away. You have to remember to say thank you. And that's what being thankful is all about. It says the wheel fell off my brand new truck. And he's thankful? That would make me sad if my brand new toy was broken. I needed some help from you and you kindly. Kind is a good word, isn't it? That's the way God wants us to treat each other kindly fixed my favorite toy. I'm thankful for all you do. Oh, look at that. It's a little boy and his dad. And he's so thankful for all the things that his dad does for him, like fixing his new truck. That's really cool. Well, you know what? You guys should make sure to thank both mom and dad for everything they do for you. And maybe grandma and grandpa. And Monday, when you, if you get to go to school or you see your teacher on your computer on Zoom, 
make sure you tell them thank you too for all the things they do. Well, let's see. Thankful is a very good one. Uh oh. We're back to a dark picture. It's not sad. It's not mad or angry. What do you think? Hmm. It's not happy, that's for sure. It's frustrated. Frustrated. I'm frustrated because I can't do it. It's hard and I want to cry. I don't know whether to give up or to give it another try. Oh, I see what she's doing. She's learning how to tie her shoes. Well, that can be frustrating when we learn to do new things and it doesn't go right. It's another good time to pray and ask God for help or ask our mom or dad or, or our teacher or an older brother or sister or grandma or grandpa to help us learn how to tie our shoes. I remember when I learned how to tie my shoes, we had a silly little game about it, about a bunny rabbit running around a tree and through a little loop and boop, there my shoes were tied. It was a fun way to learn. But I remember too, I got frustrated sometimes about tying my shoes and about other new things I've learned. Well, this one, look at here. What do you think's going on? She's hiding behind her mom. Do you guys ever do that? I know what the word is. Do you? She's being shy. Are you ever shy? Do you hide behind your mom and dad's leg? Or, or do you bury your face in, in their shoulder if they're carrying you? Because you're shy? It says shy. If someone says hello to me, I suddenly feel so shy. Instead of waving back at them, I hide my face and walk on by. You know, it's okay to be shy. We're like that sometimes. But if someone says hi to us, we should always remember to say hi back because that's being polite. We're back to another dark picture. Hmm. It's not frustrated. It's something else. What do you think? He's sitting there and the room is dark and he's looking outside and it's raining. I bet he wanted to go outside and play. But there's nothing to do. What do we say when there's nothing we want to do? We are... Bored! That's right. It says, I can't make up my mind. There's nothing I want to do. The day drags on and on. I'm feeling bored and blue. Oh, look it. He had planned to go outside and play baseball. There's the ball and the bat. Well, maybe he won't be bored all day. Maybe the rain will stop and the sun will come out and the sun will shine and dry up the baseball field and they can go play baseball. And then what will he be? He'll be happy. Huh, this is a bright picture. Oh, look at that. He's just jumping straight up in the air. He looks so happy and smiley and he's jumping. I bet he's excited. I'm bouncing like a rubber ball. I'm more excited than I can say. It's really hard for me to sit when I'd rather jump and play. He's so excited. He's jumping up and down. Do you guys ever do that when you get excited? I've done that when I'm excited. I'll jump up and down. Uh-oh. Dark pages again. Did you notice that the dark pages, the feelings are kind of hard? They're kind of difficult sometimes to feel that way. And the bright pages are the light feelings and the happy feelings and the things like that. Oh, look it. It's very, she looks kind of upset. And I think that's the dad and the little boy. And this is probably the sister. It says, jealous. I want to play with you right now. I don't think taking turns is fun. I'd rather have you to myself. I'm jealous when I have to share. She's jealous that somebody's heard that somebody else is playing with her little brother. Well, it's probably just because, you know, 
he's a little baby and babies are fun, aren't they? But I bet she can just wait her turn and then she won't be jealous anymore. Well, this one's goofy looking. Guess what it says? It says, proud. I did it. I did it. I shouted to the crowd. Getting dressed all by myself makes me feel proud. Do you guys dress yourself? Do you find colorful, fun clothes to wear? This is pretty great. I wish I had an outfit like that. I'd wear it all the time. That's a silly filly outfit with a great big hat and a big wide and shorts with stripes and shirts with stripes and all kinds of bright colors. That would be really fun. <gasps> well, look at all these faces. Look at them. There's all kinds of different emotions there. I like this book because we can turn it upside down and it looks like it's just the same as when it's right side up, doesn't it? There's faces all over the places. It says, feelings come and feelings go. I never know what they'll be. Silly or angry, happy or sad, they're all a part of me. And feelings are. They're a part of us that, in the way that God made us to feel all the wonderful things. And sometimes we have to feel the things that are kind of hard to feel, like being sad or mad or bored or jealous. But those aren't the feeling God wants us to hold on to. <laughs> he wants us to hold on to the happy feelings and the silly feelings and the proud feelings and the joy feelings and all those good ones that were on the bright and colorful pages. Well, I hope you're happy and full of joy like my buddy Jack here. I hope he's full of candy too or apples or other good things. You know, fall is a beautiful time and we get to celebrate some really great holidays in the fall like Halloween and Thanksgiving. And then one of my favorite holidays comes in the wintertime. But shh, we're not going to talk about that one today. You know what? Let's pray together and then we'll say goodbye and see each other later. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful fall and for the beautiful leaves and the trees and even for the early snow. We thank you for all that you do for us and all that our moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas and aunts and uncles and friends for all that they do for us. Help us to be helpful and help us to say thank you. And dear God, help us to help others when they're feeling sad or mad or jealous or any of those other bad feelings that, you know, they're not, they have just help us with all those things and help us to be happy and joyful in all that we do. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Happy Halloween. Have a great time if you get to go trick-or-treating. Did you figure out what I'm dressed up like? Probably not. Here you go. Are you ready? I am... An old goat. Isn't that funny? I'm an old goat. Well, you guys have a great happy Halloween. Love you guys. Be safe. Have fun. And don't be scared because God's with you. See you later. Bye-bye.